Good day students. Today we are here to let's learn the lesson what where how and when. This is the first chapter in class 6 history. I hope we can get into this lesson immediately. Everybody have the same doubt. Why do we need to learn what do we understand from history? the learning outcome of this lesson will be what is history what do we get out of it how do we do it how did india get its name as india and finally we will also understand what is dates let's understand what is history history is a chronological account of events which occurred in the past what does that mean it means that it is a events which have happened in a particular order it is also telling us about the past history is generally known or it is again split into his plus story the story is nothing but history there is a famous saying in english that today's newspaper is tomorrow's history okay now let us understand why should we learn history we should study history because it tells us about the past it also gives the understanding how the ancient culture and lifestyle the ancient culture what does it mean it means how the old people had lived in the past the lifestyle talks about how they have lived it also understands to help the problems they had in the past and how they have overcome in case if they have made any mistakes it also teaches us how we should actually learn from that and do not commit the same mistake what is the importance of history the importance of history can be easily summarized about like the following it tells us what the past kings kingdoms and society were how the earlier kings how they set up a big kingdom and how people lived it also tells us how what kind of food they had and the kind of dress they wore it also tells us what kinds of occupations they were doing it tells the great achievements how our forefathers and the earlier ancestors how they lived a life which we in now are actually paving for to live it also tells us the mistakes they have made and how we can correct that it also tells what kind of games they have played we learn from history for a better future so this should be impressive that why we need to learn history and what is the importance of history okay let's get and understand where how did people live the people lived basically in the river of narmada on the banks of river of narmada sulaiman and kirtar hills in the northwest garo hills and the vindhyas in the central india indus and its tributaries ganga and its tributary let us understand what is a tributary tributary refers to the branches of the different rivers and then head on as a single river for example we all know about kaveri the kaveri starts from karnataka and comes into tamil nadu and goes and joins into bay of bengal this water kaveri comes from different parts of the mountains and from different places and joins which are all called as tributaries here please have a look at the map we can see the himalayas in the north the kaveri in the down the garo hills on the right hand side the ganga indus mahanadi 
Deccan and Narmada. This is the brief outline of the map of India with its rivers and the hills. Let's have a look at the Narmada. Several people lived on the banks of Narmada. They were all hunters and gatherers. What does hunters mean? In the early period of time, people did not have the way how we live and we have food. They were hunting animals with whatever weapons they had and how they learned to make. And then they were also gatherers in the sense they left from one place to another place in search of food. In the Sulaiman and Girtar hills, people lived 800 years ago. These were the people who knew how to begin farming. Farming here refers to how we cultivate and get rice, wheat, barley. This is what is called as cultivation. They used to grow crops like wheat and barley. People lived in a settled life. Villages, until this time, people were <coughs> living in groups. Apart from this, they started settling down and villages started coming into existence. The people in the Garo Hills and the Vindhyas were the first to grow rice. Uh, prior to that, we can understand wheat and barley were the only thing or grains which are available. On the rivers of Indus and its tributaries, people started developing cities. This was 4,700 years ago. We started seeing bigger cities coming up on the rivers and the banks of Ganga. Some cities also developed along the sea coast. I hope the most interesting part is now coming in which where we all know how India got its name as India or Bharat or Hindustan. The most frequent used words were referred as India, Bharat and Hindustan. The people from Iran and Greece came to the northwest of India. They were familiar with the river Indus. They started calling people who were living on the other side as Indos which got renamed as Hindus. The land where the caste of the river came, came to be as known as India. People who lived in the northwest were known as Bharata. It is mentioned in Rig Veda. The name Bharat came from the term Bharata. Okay. Now, we understood how India got its name as Bharat. Let us understand what are the sources which tells us how history is actually taken from. It is taken from four concepts. It is from manuscripts, inscriptions, coins and archaeological sites. These might be really new terms for us, but we know this earlier. We all know that in the past, people used to write on the bark of the trees and we have also seen them. People giving that to their families. One such is actually shown for your reference. This way where people take on the bark of a tree and you write it with the handwritten is called as manuscripts. They used to, what do I used to write? They used to write all the prizes of the king, the practices, poems, plays, epics, etc. Inscriptions. Inscriptions. We all live and we are all blessed that our school is actually ne located next to Tirpuramundram Hills. We have all seen these inscriptions. We have also seen these kind of inscriptions in temples or in rocks, caves and other things. The letters found on the rocks, caves or the temples are known as inscriptions. An inscription is a stone should tell 
that which tells about the life of the king or what is the praise he has done what kind of language they have written in they are mostly found in sanskrit tamil or prakrit an old inscription is almost like do more better than a manuscript because it will not fade away and the life of this is more than a manuscript they also used coins which will be used either made of copper or silver or gold the coins were first developed in the ancient greece and one such coin which is in silver is shown for your reference they also tell us about the level of skills among the artisans how people used the skill which they displayed during that period a pot which is almost 4700 years ago is also can be seen in this figure the archaeological sites are the major informations for the historians to know how people have lived the what is an archaeological site mean it's nothing but the remains of which are obtained are a building or a monument which is there is called as an archaeological site artifacts are the items extracted from the different archaeological sites and gives an information about that period finally we understand what is a date today we live in 2020 ad many to at times we have been wondering what does ad stands for the term ad stands for anno domini which means in the year of lord it tells us that after the death of jesus christ 2020 years have passed by many important historical dates are prior to the birth of christ have been referred as bc and it is also used ce which is a common era similarly bce is used instead of bc and it refers to the common era with that we come to the end of this lessons please pay attention to have this lesson and revise properly all the best children